Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come your way and spend a few moments with you, the Word and prayer. This week, we are intentionally just talking about God and creation, and the existence of Creator. I want to very briefly address the theory of evolution. Many of us are aware of Charles Darwin in the middle of the 1800s proposed his theory and uh, talked about the the theory of descent with modification to, through variation and selection. And this theory of evolution has been widely accepted and uh, expanded in so many different ways. And he proposed his hypothesis using, supporting it with uh, you know, what he found is the geographical distribution of species and he used fossils and talked about vestigial organs and so on to support it. And this whole theory has now been expanded and proposed and believed in such a strong way by many. But there are two simple, basic underlying questions. First of all, in evolutionary biology, we assume the origin of genetic information. So in molecular genetics, we know and are aware of the dynamics of storing and transmitting, processing, and transforming information at the genetic level, the DNA and the RNA. We're also aware of uh, other macromolecules that are essential for life, lipids and proteins and carbohydrates and the nucleic acids, as we mentioned. So the first big question is this, where did this intelligence come from? So the nucleotides, the genetic information is stored and transmitted and transformed. But where did that intelligence come from? How could these organic macromolecules have, or these molecules have that intelligence to dictate and direct life? Very big question. Secondly, we also, in, in biology, we've never been able to produce an experiment or conduct or experimentally reconstruct the origin of life the transition from non-life to life. There's an assumption being made that somehow from non-living matter, living matter emerged. We've never been able to reproduce that and will probably never be able to do that. So that's the second big question. If in some extraordinary moment of randomness, there was a transition from the prebiotic to the biotic state. How could these chemical compounds, whatever they may be, have so self-organized themselves into a self-replicating self system that took on life, that took on intelligence, and then evolved into these amazing creatures and humans that we see around us? Never been able to answer it. Bible says in Psalm 139, you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. Verse 14, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows no well, so well. God formed, God designed life. And that's why it's so amazing. Let's pray. Father, we worship you as creator God, as the God who designed everything, including the ability for these molecules to contain intelligence and information. You designed it all. We honor you and worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.